What's up, my little peeps? So, about four years ago, back when I was a definite boy for Calabar High School, yes, that is me. Wait, so back then, we went to this conference, to be honest, I don't remember the name, but what happened in that conference was that we essentially were like doing some self improvement and so on and so forth. However, the main takeaway was that we created our vision board and i even use my vision board up to this day the only difference is that last year i digitized it and to be honest that vision board actually helped me achieve a lot of my goals and has been continuously helping me achieve my goals so in this video i'll be showing you some tips and tricks on how to achieve your goals a bit more efficiently and trust me this strategy works last year I achieved six out of eight of my goals and two of them is affiliated with school and the school year don't finish school year finish like april one of them done anyway so stick around i'll be showing you how to complete your goals in the entirety in addition to the fact that cover family i'll show you my downfall and some stuff that i could have done better along the journey so if you are interested in sure like share comment subscribe tell a friend to a friend and with that let's begin New year, new me. Yo, that's the vibe going on because you know it's early January and everybody have some new set of goals that they want to achieve. However, as time progresses, we typically lose focus of that goal. So it's important to set goals that are specific, achievable, measurable, and most of all documented in order to achieve our goals throughout the year. So first, let's talk about setting achievable goals. It's important to set goals that are achievable, not things that are very difficult are practically impossible because you get demotivated when you do not see the progress or do we say goals that are too easy to achieve as well because you won't necessarily put in enough effort into them so it's always important to just find that balance you know a little bit hard but not super crazy and it also must be realistic at least especially in a specific or a short time frame personally i like to think of goals as like a road is me so persons might be able to see like the first 10 steps in front of them however it gets a bit blurry when you know you have 50 steps in front there 100 or 1000 steps in front of you and the further away your goals are i get it sometimes it might feel difficult to conceptualize the whole idea of everything and this is why you should set up your goals in segments or to be a bit more specific specific meaning that you set your goals into like two main categories either things you need to do before you get to the actual goal or you break up the goals in small small sections and then achieve them bit by bit when everything is complete then it will be the whole overall goal so let's say you want to invest in the jamaica stock market one of the biggest hurdles you'll have to cross is essentially just opening a investment account and then after now you'll be able to like you know buy stocks but you know how the process go as it relates to buying stocks you know you'd have to understand in the note and so on and so forth but those are incremental steps that you take over time the first step is opening the account in order to get to the other step which is you know buying stocks for example take this clip off and i mind you i am sorry if i butchered the name i think it's kaleidoscope so hey source again shot like this comes to what like half a million seed money you pull that yeah i got a guy who works security for otb in garden city we cut him in he'll make it an easy score so we do a job to do a job yeah you basically doing a job to do a job so yeah so it's kaleidoscope episode yellow and as it relates to the other one which is you know doing small small segments of stuff in order to do the whole stuff i think the best example i can give is like uh let's say you have a book let's say you want to read rich dad poor dad and you won't complete in a month rich dad poor dad i think has about 207 pages what you can do is literally just read seven seven pages per day by the end of the month or even before the month you will finish with the book rather than just seeing the whole book and trying to read everything like in a day or you know like a day and a half or a couple of days you know See? whenever you try attack goals in small small segments it reduces the friction that is there whenever you're doing a prolonged or a very difficult task the truth is a specific goal is something that is clear and easy to understand for example one goal could be you want to lose 10 pounds within two months yeah that is a better and a specific goal 
than to say oh you just want to get in shape the specific goals are easy to keep track of and it is i think better able to you know be measured speaking of measured setting measurable goals are also important because as i said earlier is that it allows you to track your progress over time for example let's say you want to save some money you might just like set a goal say all right i want to save 10 grand in 10 months so yeah personally one of my goals this year is to try and make at least 10 videos every month for you guys granted it's a far fetch because i normally do like three or four videos for the month but you guys like my videos and you know the family increasing so yeah in addition to the fact that at the end of the day more views equal more money in my pocket which you know can help me to facilitate my other expeditions like you know charity and you know buying off the whole of jc but you know switch is good so now that we have talked about achievable specific and measurable goals let's talk about how to actually achieve them and one strategy as i mentioned in the beginning of the video is you know create a plan and set a deadline all right so creating a plan a plan really is just a strategy that you're going to implement in order to achieve a goal with a specific time and date attached to it it includes a list of tasks that needs to be completed along with the deadline for each of those tasks a plan helps to keep you focused and organized as you were towards the goal even personally at me at one point like i still do it anyways but personally i normally write down my plans even things that are just out of this world and i don't see any way to do it i just write it down you know to do like one of my thing is i was even employed and personally i wanted to have like eight hundred thousand dollars in dividend per year so that's about yeah invest about 11 million or 12 million dollars at about six or seven percent i don't remember the months however if you see around there so you see a bag of book is me these are books these are books so a book i think this one is forex um this one is the struggle of life is me i have another one when i was at money services and you know just making contacts making things you know right hey, hey. this one is the book that i got from ue but i was at i think calabar at that time so this book i just write down strategies for school well if i go through right now um is 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 is, is I made for from early the first page but yeah, and there's other more because that one is my stocks <laughs> that one is my stocks and uh, bucketing basically but yeah so here are some tips and tricks that you know you can use to create your plan so the first thing is identifying your goals so start with a clear defined goal make it specific measurable and achievable as we just say so let's use the same um investment idea and literally i'm pulling these from over the top of it so if the figures are skewed do understand but yeah so let's say my goal is to invest a hundred thousand dollars in the stock market this year so one will have a specific thing that we're going to have a time is me say so yeah. two is to break down your goals into small small tasks once you have goals defined break them down into smaller more manageable task this will make it easier to focus on each step and make progress towards your goal so hundred thousand that's like what maybe eight thousand dollars per month maybe eight seven I don't remember but eight seven thousand dollars per month you know just save up your lunch money and them things here I, mean, I might have like 10 more months alone so I guess that would you know compensate that's like a strategy you know so we set a deadline so give yourself a deadline for completing each task this will help you to keep you on track and to ensure that you are making progress towards your goal. So, if you reach February, February is supposed to have about 20 grand, and then March is supposed to have 30, and so on and so forth. And so, forth. so, you know, review and adjust your plan as needed. As you work towards your goal, be sure to review your plan and make any necessary adjustment. Life is literally unpredictable, and you know, anything can happen. So, you know, bear in mind with that. So, like if things get difficult or let's say you know um you will block your friend system and you need to pay 
like 20,000 dollars to school fee then you know you have to pay the 20 grand there and then you know jump back on the goal but the last part really is your i wouldn't say fantasy but something you know realistically speaking in the future that you can see yourself and this is where you do your vision board one thing i like is i want to be a millionaire in every currency so if a us and i'm convert my wealth into us millionaire there so british millionaire there so jamaica millionaire there so so yeah so how we create a vision board and a vision board is really just a collage of images and text that represent your goals and aspiration it is really just a visual representation of what you want to achieve back again i'm going to show you the picture again of my thing i think at my last last goal is to own a community you know grand spain and sounds nice and a vision board can be a very powerful tool that can you know help you be motivated and stay motivated and stay focused say but a few things on your vision board that you should first thing first is to keep it positive like focus on things that you want to achieve in life rather than things that you want or things that you don't want to um you know achieve so like you know me having a six pack <sighs> rather than me not losing anyway so yeah i guess <laughs> also make it personal i think when you make it personal rather than just oh is it some influencer say oh they more under this i want that i'm going to put that on my vision board no suppose your vision board is literally just being compatible with you know family and reality or your vision board is just every year can buy a new bins or you know any of them carry there so yeah you just keep it personal and keep it tailored to you another thing is to like display prominent mine is literally my phone screen saver so i'm always up on my phone so i'm always like a seat so hey but you can hang it up in a room when you wake up you see it or you know you know them things here and just really use a source of motivation to you know help you especially like when you have difficult time and them things here. but when you look at your vision board it's supposed to like you know force you to take action you know funny enough there's this story i think i told it in my last video again but it's a very powerful story however the story goes something like this in the early 16th century spanish conquistador hernan cortes led a expedition to present-day mexico and encountered fierce resistance from the aztecs you know led by the Moctezuma too despite being vastly outnumbered cortes and his men were able to eventually conquer the Aztecs and established Spanish rule in the region. One of the most famous moments of the conquest occurred when Cortes ordered his men to burn their ships upon arrival in Mexico, symbolizing their determination to either conquer the Aztec Empire or die trying. And this moment has become like iconic in the you know history of conquering civilization or conquering places. And sometimes I just use a little drive, you know, to like alright motivate myself however as stated earlier sometimes things happen that are out of your control and you just have to do that so just keep your vision and your stuff flexible but not too flexible but you know keep flexible so that in absolute worst case scenarios you know you will you know come again and just and in some really uh setting goals and achieving them it helps with your personal professional and even social life when you think about it you see me as long as you break your goals into small small tasks you have them specific you also have them achievable and you know timely then you know it really increases your chance of being successful in life just always remember to celebrate the small wins so as we said the explanation that was like oh invest ten thousand dollars each month you know me take like one two bills on buy a party and say yes we did this <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, as always love you guys ensure that you like share comment subscribe to a friend to a friend and um with that said catch you next video peace